Hey, so what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at Fidelity Investments, simply looking at the platform and, you know, simply how to use it. So today here we are on the home page of Fidelity. Fidelity is a older brokerage account, older financial company um, that they provide an array of different things, not just for you to invest in stocks, but for you to plan for retirement, et cetera, et cetera. So they've been around for a while. Um, they, they're doing pretty well. They're kind of like um, in the same class as like your TD Ameritrade's or whatnot, your Charles Schwab's. They're, they're, so they're a little bit older, so that means that they still have fees. And so right off the jump, this is actually their homepage where you can see it doesn't necessarily have a whole lot to it. But here it's all about information. It's all about finances. This is what the company's about and this is what they do. So. Um, here you can actually scroll down and you'll actually get a chance to see um, the actual fees that they have and they also have their rankings down here as far as you know uh, what they were rated number one for and, and things like that so um, I've been wondering who I, I wonder sometimes who we voting for these these companies though it's pretty interesting but anyway so here you can see they have their pricing and they have a comparison of others here and you can see that they typically between those that they have listed are lower now if you had other companies up here like some other robo investors that are new some of the online companies online brokerages etc like Robinhood or, or M1 finance or, and stuff like that you'll, you'll see that you know obviously they're just a little bit higher so I know someone's like saying well I mean if there's a fee attached to it why are you even reviewing it with all the free brokers out there? Well, everybody doesn't use the same thing. Everybody has their preferences. So I like to go through reviews like this because everybody has their preferences and that's just how it is. So well as you might not want to use it, believe it or not, there are millions of people that are actually using this. Um, just like millions of people using TD, TD Ameritrade, Schwab, Vanguard, all of them. We have people using a array of just different brokerages for whatever reason and that's what they choose to do and for some people that are older they like to use these companies in particular because they're they've been around for a while and you know they typically like to stick with things that they're more familiar with you know a lot of people that are a little older are not going to be inclined to get on your m1 finances and your stock pals and your acorns so but here you can see they're all about information but opening up the account is actually um, fairly simple you know just like most um, financial investments uh, investment companies they offer um, you know the ability to open up a brokerage account etc also to open up a Roth IRA here you can see they also have they're pretty big on information um, on learning how to budget your money building savings things like that they have a ton of resources here and if you click into it, you'll see the resources that they have. And because this is one of your more traditional, older investment broker, brokerage accounts, financial companies, you can see that they have pretty much a long list of things that they offer. One of the things that you will know with some of the newer accounts or newer companies, I should say, they don't offer a lot of these different variety of accounts that you can open up to. So. You can see they even have things here for charitable giving, life insurance, annuities, I mean, so forth and so forth. So um, sector investing, which is very interesting. Fidelity has been around for a while. They're, they're still a good brokerage account. Like I said, it's based off of preference. So, so this is just what they uh, have to offer. News, research, just about everything. They're pretty cutting edge, so they're up to date. This is their business. This is not like it's a side thing. or So they're really, you know, on... Um, the money when it concerns their information, when it concerns, you know, researching what's, what's going on right now, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, so if you want to maybe plan some things out, you can even, like I said, you can go here, you can check out um, all the things that they have to offer, and you can see um, what they're all about. So let's get into what it looks like with their brokerage account. So here we are on the home screen for your investment account if you were to open a brokerage account. And it's set up, you know, fairly simple, just like any brokerage account would be set up. Um, and so, you know, there's not a lot to it. But if you're if you have a brokerage account and you're looking and you're trying to figure out how to use it, how to start start buying things, then this is 
here what you would do you have your transfer which is right up here this is where you would transfer money so if you want to transfer money in and out of your account money that you can transfer out obviously cannot be invested it would be you know in cash but you can transfer money from your account to here this is where you would go to transfer that if you don't know nowadays a lot of these um, financial institutions are aligning themselves to help you pay your bills and so as you can see here they have it so that like if you want to you know um, set up paying your bills you can do that and so right here you can see well where you can sign up for a bill pay and if you want to do something like that and you have fidelity then you definitely can do that from there as well as here if you want to take notes etc add notes to different things you can do that as well and this is what it looks like if you wanted to um, take notes jot some notes down like if you had an idea or you were researching something one whatever use it wherever you need so but here if you were looking to buy or sell stocks um, investments funds etc this is where you would go to right here where it says trade so here's what the screen looks like if you wanted to place in trade which is similar if you're familiar with any type of investment or brokerage account um, the screens are similar where here you want to add in your symbol you add in your symbol here you can select the action so let's say we want to buy a share of what what is everybody talking about right now I don't, I don't know what everybody's talking about so let's just say um, you're buying a share of Amazon so here you would go you could type in the name whoops sorry let me find the symbol I should know it um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank but here's a say you want to find a company you could actually go here and it will actually find the symbol for you so here we have the screen where you can actually choose to invest um, and buy just like any other screen but here is where you would actually you know add like the symbol that you may be looking to invest in you would add the action buy and then the shares or whatever and I'm just using Bank of America's example I'm not suggesting that you invest in them and over here you can see once you put that in it gives you the you know the information of where it is and what's happening right now um, with that and you can check the charts news etc um, then here you can see your positions um, orders balances on this screen as well so so that's for stocks ETFs and funds you can do a fine symbol if you were looking for it very specific fund to search it um, as well as if you're looking for mutual funds there's a tab here for mutual funds then if you're looking for something with for fixed income then here you go here um, trade armor I'm not too sure what that is then you have trade armor I think that has to do more with like your trades etc 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 so alright so you can get back to the screen that we were on previously by clicking here um, but let's look at planning and advice kind of looked at it a little bit on the uh, at the beginning as on a home a home screen but let's look at how they have this set up so let's go to wealth management for example and here you'll see if you want to get connected with an advisor you connect with an advisor also it gives you different uh, strategies that you can check out here clicking on there for tax strategies um, they have different educational things and because they're an older brokerage account then they're more than likely going to um, have you know a lot more research details than a lot of your newer you know companies that are out there so but you can go back to your portfolio and you know here like I said if you owned any stocks and you want to see you know those positions exactly you would click here on uh, positions if you want to check your activities your orders balances etc so now another thing especially if you're new to the account and you're trying to learn how to um, invest in things like that then what you want to do is you want to spend some time in the research area pretty much of any you know brokerage account or investment or for, uh, or any financial account um, and you want to do your research where you can get information and things uh, of that nature so like if you were to click on news you would be able to see you know things that are happening real time what's what's going on and etc uh, with the market which kind of helps you to kind of get a gauge of what it is you might be you know be looking to invest in or or if there's any information that you might want to run away from something that you're looking to invest in and it might be there to help you so um, these tools are definitely um, 
they're, they're worth it, they're beneficial to whoever is uh, holding the account. Also, if you want to know why Fidelity, you can <laughs> take a look here where they, they kind of answer the question of or why use them in comparison to other brokerage accounts or, you know, just to kind of help you make a decision if it's something that, you know, you would be interested in. Also under the news and research, you can see here they have like a learning center, IPOs, if you're looking to search for IPOs, let's check out the learning center. And here it just kind of gives you more news, but it's more broken down. So you can kind of choose what it is that you want to, uh, you know, uh, hear about or read about. So if you look at investment products, we can go to ETFs and ETPs. And so you can see here, they have a lot of information. So it says, look, a, a beginner's guide to ETFs. So you don't know what ETFs are, you're trying to understand it. Um, they have information there for you. And so it's pretty good. You know, if you have an account and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to use it, it's fairly simple to just, you know, click around, investigate, you know, the, the, the platform yourself um, and just see what it has to offer. Now, outside of that, there's not really a whole lot to it, just depending on you know what you're doing, how you're investing, etc. So, and even if you want to open up a new account, like underneath something else, you go here to click up, like open an account, and then you'd be able to choose you know what type of account you want to open up, you know, underneath the account that you already have. And like I said, like I said, you know, they have a long list of different um, accounts that you can open for different reasons. So. But like I said, I do these reviews just so people can, you know, take a look and see, you know, what it's like on the inside and what they have to offer um, before they actually, you know, open up an account or if they have an account and they're just trying to figure their way around the, you know, using it. Like, what do they do to, to buy? Which typically I end up doing these reviews because I get questions where people ask me, hey, do you know how to use a Fidelity account investment? What do I suppose to do? And typically, you know, most of these are just like, you know, most brokerages, most financial institutions, they're all very similar. But, you know, a lot of times people, they get these accounts and, you know, there's not really a lot of direction to it when you open it. You know, you just have to kind of feel your way around. Um, so I do these tutorials, these reviews, just so people can see you know the basics of just how to fumble around within the account and believe it or not you know a lot of people give me a ton of feedback on how helpful it is um, but here you go this is fidelity so if you have an account get in there um, fiddle around you know take a look at the tools um, and spend some time in there so you can see exactly what it is that you know you you have your your hands on so as always, guys, I hope this has been helpful to you. Feel free to like and subscribe. Pretty much we upload the videos on a consistent, regularly basis. We're always uploading. Um, and I thank you guys for tuning in to another review. Peace.